is for people who want to skip the process of compressor or if you've been trying to find help to use DVD Studio Pro because um, for some reason your compressor is not working or you just don't understand it or whatever. For some reason some people just don't like compressor. I think it's fine. It's just a tool. So this process will help you export from Final Cut so you can skip compressor use um, the export from Final Cut and DVD Studio Pro and make a really nice uh, decent DVD. So this is what you do. I'm going to open up my project Final Cut Pro. So the timeline is this bad boy right here and this bad boy down here is my super wide angle test movie I made and I want to use it in DVD Studio Pro. Now if I export this I go up here, go File, Export, QuickTime Movie. I'm going to do QuickTime Movie. Now I can take this because this video is so short and so small that I could put it right into DVD Studio Pro. So if you didn't know that, you can do that. So go do that. But if you're having huge videos like 45 minute to you know an hour to two hours or whatever videos, you're going to have to do this other thing. So continue to listen carefully to me. I go up to File, Export, QuickTime Movie, okay, or Command E. Click that. Make sure that Make Movie Self-Contained is selected. Just do it. I'm not going to explain it. Just do it. Okay, so now I'm going to take that. I'm going to save it just to my desktop so I know where I can find it. I'm going to hit Save. We're going to wait patiently. Oh man, so long, five seconds. Now, um, so what I'm going to do, now that's been done, I'm just going to close out or hide. You can, whatever you want to do, close or hide Final Cut Pro. So I can see the desktop. And here's my, my uh, movie that I've created on the desktop, among way many other things. Now, we need to make this movie without using compressor. We're pretending like we don't have it. We're going to use something else. We're pretending we don't have it. We want to get this into DVD Studio Pro. I can literally take this file right now, put it in uh, DVD Studio Pro, no problem. But we're not going to do that. We're not going to go right to DVD Studio Pro. I'm not going to just take this and put it in there. We're going to do something else. And this is what we're going to do. I'm going to have you guys go online. It's called Burn Burn for your Mac. Burn home. See, I typed it in Google. That's the keywords right there. Okay, I know it's in bad quality, but that's it. And it'll look something like this. This is Burn for your Mac. You're going to go over to the download picture. And you're going to hit Download Burn. The thing's going to download to your computer. This is what it looks like. It, it ha It's this thing right here. Um, looks like this little hazard symbol. You double click on that burn symbol. It might not be on your dock. I put it on my dock. It'll be in your applications. So just open burn called burn and it always defaults on the video tab. You have a copy tab, you have a video tab, you have audio, you have data. We're going to be using the video tab. Okay. This software does a bunch of other stuff. So I'll be making a video just how to use burn. It's just, it's really cool. It helps a lot. It does, it copies DVDs. It does every, every kind of thing too. So it's a really cool free software. Anyways, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go up to Burn's uh, preferences and we're just going to double check a few things on Burn preferences. We're going to make sure we're going to make sure our tempos we're going to make going to 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 our tempos we're going to make NTSC if you're in the United States, PAL if you're not in the United States. So NTSC is for us United City people and PAL is for um, overseas. Now we're good there. Okay, next what you need to do is you need to find your video. Okay, drag it in to burn. Okay, and what it's going to do is to say one incompatible file. Would you like to convert that file to an MPG? Your answer is convert. So you're going to click the convert button. Okay, it's going to ask you where you want to save that. For in this case, I am going to save it to the desktop. 
or you can save it to you know other you know places. But I'm going to save it to the desktop. So I'm going to hit choose, and then there it is, converting. Now this is going to take a, only like a couple of seconds because it's a very short video. But you can do this for your huge gigantic videos as well. Um, you'll have to do some adjustments, but this is all part of you know not using the proper way of compressing for DVD Studio Pro. This is just one of these things you have to do. So once this thing's done, now it's done. Now actually, literally, if I wanted to, if I didn't care about DVD Studio Pro, I can throw in a DVD right now, click burn it, and once I have that empty DVD in there, it will burn it to an empty DVD for me. Just like that. And I go into more detail about that on the other video, um, using burn. So, but now we have it converted to what's called an MPG. So we'll go over here. We're going to look for it. I have super wide angle .mov. I dragged it over to the burn file. And now I have this super wide angle MPG. It's the same file. It's just converted to this MPG. Okay. So here's the file we want. Now the next thing after you've done that, you should have this thing called MPEG stream clip. And so I'm going to show you where to get MPEG stream clip from. So what you do is you go, you know, you can search it or you can go to their site, www.squared5.com, um, MPEG stream clip. Or you can just Google it, Yahoo it, or whatever. And I'm using a Mac, so MPEG stream clip Mac. I'm, so I'm thinking you guys are using a Mac too because you're using DVD Studio Pro. So you, you click on that, you download your, um, you go to the site. I downloaded the 1.9.2. Um, some of you can download this one too, but I just, I, this is the one I did and that's what I'm using right now. So I, I'm using uh, this uh, top one here. So if you want to be the same boat as me. And I download that. And then once you download that, from the site, it'll pop up in your applications. I put mine in um, on my dock here. So you just click on that, open that up. And this is what it looks like right here. I'm gonna close out some of my other windows. Okay, so here it is. I'm gonna close out burn. I don't need burn anymore. So here it is. And now I'm gonna take my MPG drag it in here okay so there's my mpg here's my video as an mpg not compressed at all well it is compressed but it looks amazing and you go file up at the top here at um mpeg stream clip so now what we need to do is we need to demux it and i'm going to demux it i'm going to use the top one to an m22v which is an mpeg2 and then aiff which is like cd quality um and what we're going to do is we're going to just click that, okay? And it's going to ask us, where do you want to save it? Oh, my gosh. And I'm going to tell it, go to the desktop. Dang it. That's awesome. Okay. And then you hit, so you can change the name and all that kind of stuff. So I told it to go to desktop, or you can tell it to go somewhere else. But I told it desktop. You can change the name if you want. I'm not. I'm going to hit save. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit that. And if it asks me to save again, I hit save again. Now, what it did is it happens so fast because it's such a short video your longer videos are going to take longer but if you look over here in my messy wall of stuff you're going to see super wide AIFF that's the audio you're going to see over here super wide angle M2V so these are important files we need both of these files for DVD Studio Pro okay so now what you're going to do is you're going to Close out MPEG stream clip. You're going to open the DVD Studio Pro. Okay, so it opens there. There it is. Wow. Amazing. You're going to go over to the top left under Assets right here. Or go File. Go File Import Asset. Go to the desktop or wherever you save the files. I'm looking for my Super Wide Angle Test MPG2.AIF. And holding down the Command key. I can select also the super wide angle test mpg2.m2v. So I want both these files because this is my video. I hit import and they're going to appear over here to the left. That's it. That's what you do. 
If you don't know how to use DVD Studio Pro, watch my video of how to make a simple movie with DVD Studio Pro right at youtube.com slash actor mime. And um, you can watch that. So that, that's how you get it in there. And now you can edit with DVD Pro and author with that file with, you know, getting around the compressor thing. There's other ways to do it. There's many other ways. There's probably a better way out, here, out there. But here's one of the ways you can do it.